Here's a demo of how to do the side um, of your Cairn Terrier into the tummy. So here we have Haas, and he has a real super sensitive tummy. Part of that is that um, he likes to pee all over himself, and so this all gets real crusty. And I think that's kind of what causes some of the sensitivity. So um, I'll just be real. I, I just go real slowly with him. But hopefully you can see this. He's so dark, it's hard to see. But what I started out by doing is combing the hair outwards and holding it this way. So you're grooming down that way. And I just go down in lines like this. And that's how you get a more, um, that's how you get a more even layered look into their side. And then moving into the tummy part where he does have that sensitivity. Just comb it out real nicely. And then I literally only take a couple hairs at a time. Um, and you're only taking the very longest ones. Good boy. And I just continue with that super, super, super slowly and ease him into it. Also, you want to be sure and hold this skin firm against their body. That's what I'm doing with my left hand. And with my right hand, I'm doing the pull. And then when you hold the skin firm against the body, you're um, helping to alleviate any, um, any tension on the pole. Because when you pull the hair straight out, their skin moves too. And it's just like when somebody pulls your hair, it hurts. But if you hold the skin tight into their body, then you alleviate that um, pulling sensation. And I just continue like that moving up and down in this line, this vertical line, but moving horizontally over all this hair. Okay, this time in the demo, I'm gonna try and weigh, lie a lighter colored cloth against um, Haas's fur, so hopefully you can see the layers a little bit better against that. And then when you comb it out in this direction, you're pulling these, only these longest ones. And I work down like that. One thing to, you want to know, you don't want to gung, go gung-ho with this part of their body. These sides grow really um, a lot slower than their back. So you want to keep that in, in, in mind. And then working down towards the belly. Come here, sweetie. The other thing on a dog, um, this part of their hair grows forward. It kind of goes forward towards their chest. So you want to pull always in the direction that the hair grows. When you're pulling back, again, that's going to create a bit of a... Um, more of a pulling sensation. I rigged up this little Kong for him, filled up with liverwurst, so that's what he's working on for his treat. Okay, and one more with the belly demo, um, see if I can get it from a better view. So in order to get some length off here, I'm just gonna come straight down. I always use this white pad underneath, that helps me see with a dark dog. And I'm gonna hold him hold the hair firmly and securely up into his abdomen against his body and then I'm taking just a couple couple hairs out at a time and he starts to get a little bit worried about it so it's a pretty slow process with doing his belly but actually luckily his hair doesn't grow very fast down on his belly so that's kind of nice for him and so in just taking out a few hairs, you can get the, um, the length to be a bit shorter. Good boy. Good boy. I still need a little bit right there. 